Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. Um, yeah, just technical glitch there, but yes, yeah, sorry, to, don't hear anything. Um, welcome to the outside view and brought you by Women's Trig Zone. And this is presented by our lovely sponsors who always supported us BSV, AMRA Hospitals, Food and Wellness, Puma, and of course, MPLs come on board as well. And I'm Rupa Ramni through that post match after India took on England at the Bay Oval uh, this morning, if you're watching from India. Not a very good outing for India and uh, a lot of you Indian fans as well. But a very commanding effort there by England. And they reached that target of 135 uh, in, in about uh, 31.2 overs, making a bit of a, botching it up a little bit towards the end. But to take us through that match, we have, as always through the day, Dan Van Dan Wanaka. Oh, we can't and, hear you at all. Uh, is this, am I clearer now? Because I can hear you guys just fine. Yeah, you are clear. Thank you. <laughs> Dan, I'm going to be yelling for, for benefit. Is, is that a little better? Okay, why don't we... Um, Dan, why don't you just go out and then join in again? Maybe, maybe that will probably help you. Um, okay, I'm going to try and... Yeah, we'll, we'll try and sort it out. Uh, with Dan Van Nikak, but for my inter cricketers, Sonia Daber can hear me just fine, and she wish she didn't hear me just fine because she doesn't want to be told once again that India's lost that match. Sonia, uh, not 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 a great feeling. If you've obviously, if you're a cricketer who's played for India, you're a fan, you're a fan of the sport. Not something you'd like to see. Yeah, definitely. You know, after coming uh, the after the last game, especially. Today's performance definitely, uh, you know, disheartening to be honest. But I will say that uh, they really fought well. You know, scoring uh, 135 in almost 31 overs. So India did with fall of six wickets. India did fight back pretty nicely. I will say, a little bit uh, luck. I will say was favoring Skiver, <laughs> to be precise. Had that bells fallen off, it would have been a very different scenario. That uh, point of uh, game. But yeah, definitely uh, not the result uh, I would like to see. Dan Manikirk is back. Dani, can you hear us just fine now? <laughs> yeah, technology oh, gets me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. And we were just speaking about, uh, you know, the lack of it or the luck factor as well. The sort of everything not really falling into place for a team like India. How... Um, how relieved will England be, first of all, Dane? I mean, that's for, that's that's valuable points for them up on the board. Yeah, it is. And it just gets them up and running in the tournament. I mean, we spoke about how open this, this tournament still is, um, you know. So, I think that just gives them a little bit of confidence. Yes, some things must go their way. But, you again, don't know quite what's going to happen in this tournament. We've seen a couple of surprises already. So, um yeah, I think just it, they should take a lot of confidence out of this. Probably not as convincing as they wanted it to be. All credit to obviously India's bowlers. Um, you know, the standout for me was Megna. She was just incredible. She um she bowled really well from the start, and then um yeah, and then obviously um Goswami as well. She she's been incredible obviously all the time. And uh, the thing that stood out for me is England's spin um hurt. Uh, India, but the face of India he uh, hurt England. Yeah. So that was really interesting to see because if you look at the bowlers from the spinners from uh, India, they probably didn't go as well as they you would have expected. So there's a pretty interesting contrast there. Uh, just you know because um, Dane mentioned Julian Goswami Sonia, and we should talk about her because 250 wickets. That's that's like a lot of wickets. That's that's some effort. And for an Indian pacer to do that, how incredible is that? 
Oh, that's that's really a big achievement for Julian. Uh, I'm sure she would have loved to see the result as well in her favor after getting those uh, that landmark to reach that landmark. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, you know, two fifty wickets is a big big thing for Julian or a, for that matter any uh, fast bowler. You know, as I said previously, that bowling in day and and day out for twenty long years for a pace bowler, you know, it's it's really a big thing. You know, you have to be really very strong mentally, and that's what Julian is. You know, today also she's bowled brilliantly. You know, uh, I I hope she continues <laughs> this say, similar spell in the coming matches as well. Yes, but if we just speak a bit about, you know, of course, 135 was not going to be a challenging score to get past. But Tane, a little bit of a mess. England put got themselves in after sort of just being 20 runs away from win. Um, take us through that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like. I think there was like eight runs left. And I was like, oh, well, okay, cool. I'm just going to log in. I don't need to watch. You know, the TV wasn't on. And then Marizan messaged me. She goes, oh, you know, England just lost a couple of wickets. And I'm thinking, oh, I need to watch this. So I ran and put on the TV. And I was like, oh, well, I thought they just had it in the bag. So, But, you know, that comes down to, obviously, the character of India as well. You have to give it credit there. They, Even though they, were, like, they needed four, they still went at it. So, um, yeah. Obviously, a bit of a mess for, for England, but you know what? They need to take the confidence out of it. Um, you know, great knock from, from Heather Knight, the captain. Um, you know, mm -hmm. that's what we want. We spoke about it before the game where how crucial she is within this side and this campaign. And again, she showed her class and led from the front. Yes, and if we can just have a recap, if you're joining us here at the outside, which is now you, um, you would have obviously witnessed a, a very, very short Pretty, pretty one-sided affair. I wouldn't say that it was entirely one-sided, but if you just have a look at the scores and if we probably take a look at how that match panned out, you'll, uh, you'll also realize that it was um, it was never going India's way from the start. Uh, those Losing those crucial wickets right at the top sort of hurt them really bad and there wasn't anyone to consolidate. 134 before getting all out and uh, the two key uh, women who did all the damage, Charlie Dean and Anya Shrapsol, for England. And when they came out to bat, we obviously heard from Dane how Heather Knight loves to take the charge and lead from the front. And she did exactly that. That batting lineup, sort of the middle order stepping up after those initial double blows where India sent back Pumont and Wyatt. A great partnership there by the two sort of cornerstones of the engine room of England, if we had to say that, Heather Knight and Natalie Siver. And there was no looking back. A few, a little bit of a hiccup there <laughs> towards the end. Sonia, uh, how would you, you know, you talk a lot about Nat Siva. You know, you 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 think that I mean, you always believe that she's she's probably uh, one of the strongest, you know, engines, one of the strongest cogs in that wheel. Take us through how she performed today and how important she is in this camp. Oh, she she looked uh, comfortable for uh, from ball one. You know, the way she pierced those uh, mid wicket or deep square leg boundaries, the way she was hitting the spinners, the sweep shot especially, she was just putting them right into the gaps and. Even though uh, they had lost those two crucial wickets, uh, she played the natural way. She she didn't change the batting style. You know, she just kept on going. She was sweeping. She was pulling. Everything. You know, she was right there to score runs. And uh, her intent looked that they really want to get uh, you know get that done. Net run rate going net run rate a little bit more high. So it was uh, pretty nice to see her. Uh, going after the bowlers, especially the Indian spinners, especially Rajeshwari Gaikwad, who has been the pick of the bowlers. Yes. Um, and Dani, you briefly mentioned Heather. That partnership with Nat was, of course, very, very crucial. And it was it sort of set things in motion for England. But just a word on how, 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 on how Heather sort of herself uh, steps up to all these challenges. Yeah, I think the thing that stood out for me with Heather is she started really slow, but there was no panic stations, you know. Mm. Um, she, she got her first boundary on on the 11th ball, um, mm -hmm. you know, and if you look, look at the contrast where Deepti, uh, uh, she panicked a little bit and she ran, you know, hit and run. So um, it just shows you the experience, obviously, as well. And, um, you know, the fact that she wants to stay out there and she, she like, went through the tough patches, I guess, and, and pushed through that. And she ended up with not a bad strike rate. So, um, you know, th I think that's... For me, the key thing about this whole tournament is even if you have a, a, a slower start, if you stay in, you can make it count. And and she just showed everyone that she 
uh, you know, she showed everyone how to go about it. And unfortunately, in the second inning, she showed uh, India how to go about it, batting on this wicket. It maybe didn't look as easy. Um, you know, every all the batters kind of looked like they struggled a little bit. There's a lot of edges in, in this game. So, um, yeah, I just think, yeah, the way she went about it, uh, yeah, we said at the start, she needed to do something special, and she did. She she led the charges really well, and um, they just should just take every bit of confidence they can, no matter what uh, what it is. A uh, win is a win, and two points on the board. Yes, a win is a win. Uh, but just coming back to uh, to the sort of fight that India definitely did give, um, despite defending a very low score, Sonia, quite a commendable start, at least. I mean, that double blow should have definitely put things into perspective and given them that uh, confidence to sort of put the pressure on England. Yeah, definitely. You know, as I said, they almost had the third wicket as well, you know. Yeah. Unfortunate on their part. But yeah, that was a very good fight back from India after scoring those 135 runs, you know, because uh, looking at the England's batting lineup, you know, losing, getting those six wickets for just mm -hmm. 135, chasing 135, definitely India put up a good show. A lot of positive, you know, today. Uh, unfortunate to see our spinners not, you know, uh, bowling up to that uh, regular mm -hmm. uh, mark which they do. But yeah, Rajeshwari again was uh, initially in the uh, start, she was not on the mark, but yeah, she came back really well. Uh, a bit surprised why Deepti wasn't bowled earlier. But uh, definitely, the team really came gave a good fight back. You know, it was not an easy. You know, the England batters had to score those uh, each and every run. It was not gifted to them. Yes, nice point, valid point there, Sonia. Just to sort of ask you, Sonia, one more uh, follow up because I think Dane earlier mentioned how, you know, the the England spinners sort of hurt India, but when it was the other way around, it was the Indian pacers who did the damage. Uh, could you tell us what is it that they did right or what is it that the Indian spinners sort of lacked? I thought uh, today they were, you know, uh, they were uh, the initial initial matches, you know, they made the batters drive the balls. Today it was seen a bit less compared to the previous matches, you know, when an off spinner or any spinner for that matter, you know, when you make the batter drive, you know, that, that then you uh, have a lot more chance to get that wicket or create chances. You know, today it was not seen in that the consistency for uh, from the bowlers making the batter drive was a bit less than compared to the last matches. Yes, that's what and... uh, Dean uh, done. You know, she did the same thing. You know, if you look at Harman's again, I'm saying Harman's and Snearana's wicket. They, she made them drive, you know, that's, uh, that's uh, the point when she got those ages. Yes, and if uh, if you saw that bowling uh, bowling card as well of India at the end of that match, uh, quite a few um, decent performances coming from the Pacers. You know, Meghna Singh returning with figures of 3 for 26 in her 7.2 overs. That's when the winning runs were struck. Julian Goswami getting to that 250 wicket mark. Rajeshwari and Pooja sort of like Sonia telling. Um, explain them just they just came back in probably towards the end but not enough to sort of put the stops on the England batting lineup but Dane coming back to that England lineup towards the end like you said um, they would they wouldn't be happy with those things you know you want especially in such a comeback match yes the two the, the points are in the bag but you want it to have been convincing they wouldn't be happy with the way they ended things for sure no, absolutely not. But also, if you look at the previous game, some of those batters lower down has actually did a great job for their team. So, unfortunately, today maybe they didn't come off. But, um, you know, it, it, I mean, Amy Jones, the previous game, scored a 50, um, you know, when they were, when they looked like they were a bit down and out against South Africa. So, um, yeah, obviously, as any player, as any team, you want to be convincing, um, especially chasing a lower total. But sometimes people forget the lower totals are the most difficult ones. You... You actually don't quite know how to go about it. So, um, yeah, I just think for me, yeah, you want to be convincing, but also just, um, you know, eccleston has been incredible down the order for them. Um, you know, uh, Catherine Brandt has been very good for them. She's been consistent for them down the order. So, yeah, yeah it's not, I don't think it should be panic sessions for them. I think, um, you know, as I mentioned, they should just take the positives out of it. Heather Nice looking great, um, you know, uh, Nat Siva is just looking in a great touch. Uh, every time she comes in, it does look like she she has faced 50 balls instead of one ball so um yeah i think their positives are, are obviously up there and um yeah they should just roll with it i guess the momentum just shifted a little bit to them and um they should take that 
Yes, uh, Suna, just a word on what you felt when you saw Harman Preet get that hit on the knee. Uh, shouldn't be that worry, right? I mean, that's something that I'm I, sure. I hope that should not be a worry because next we play Australia. So we need Harman Preet Kaur for sure. Uh, but she was struggling a bit. Maybe just the impact initially yeah. she's got. So maybe hopefully she'll be back, you know, with a good performance as well. And with a fit Harman Preet Kaur. I hope that's not a major thing to worry. Yes. And uh, if, if, you know, since we've just mentioned, uh, you know, India versus Australia, that's what is India's next challenge. Dani, that's not going to be, that's going to be daunting. And if you thought England was going to be tough, facing number one, the number one team in the world is going to be intimidating. Yeah, look, Australia is going really well. We can't <laughs> lie about that. They, they actually bullying teams at the moment. They, they're making it look like a different tournament they're in. And, um, you know, so it's not going to be easy, but I mean, if you get the right tactics going and you, um, you know, I keep saying you need to be brave against them. A lot of people are timid and they, you know, we're playing the number one team in the world. They're going well, so you kind of, we're not worthy type of thing. So for me, it's just, um, yeah, I think India should go out there with a mindset of like, you know, zero or everything type of thing and, and really go at them. I, I always feel like, um, and Australia with their backs against the wall, you kind of have a little bit of a... Um, I guess a chance against them, but you're going to have to find a way to get their backs against the wall. So it's definitely not going to be easy. It is doable. Um, so again, it's it's a little bit doable at the moment just because they've got all their bases covered. I mean, leaving out the best spinner in the world or the, the number one bowler in the world, like it just shows you the depth. It shows you tactically where they're at. So um, I don't think many teams will drop a player like that. So um yeah, I think it's going to be daunting. But also, if, if India just play to their full potential, obviously that keys names the Harman Preets, the um, Mitsali Rajas and um, and Smriti at the top there is going to be key for them. I think it's going to be battle of the batters, in my opinion. But also, yeah. when I looked at the way um, Perry is coming back bowling and moving the ball, it's also very impressive to see. Uh, she's actually moving it both ways now. So... Um, yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting contest, and that's what you want to see in a World Cup like this. You want these clashes, and and you want to watch uh, really good cricket. And I'm sure we will. Yes, we will. And you know, watching Australia, especially you know the names that you just mentioned, Dani, quite a joy to see them because them and uh, some of the Aussie uh, cricketers in full flow are uh, quite a joy to watch. Um, and speaking of uh, how the teams look up, let's. We can take a look at the points table. Uh, it's just an idea of where everyone stands at the moment. After that win, England sort of, sort of creeping up onto that top four slot, um, right behind West Indies at the sixth place with that win. They uh, next play New Zealand. Uh, that's on Sunday, and that's going to be a huge encounter because New Zealand is at, at, at is sort of rounding up the top four there. Australia sitting pretty, South Africa and India. Of course, India's next encounter against Australia. So, uh, quite a lot of things to look forward to. Sonia, I'm going to come to you next. Um, you know, you've been part of the Indian, you know, setup. Uh, something like this. How will the sort of team conversations be like? Because it's not like they've done something wrong. You know, they've sort of done ticked all the boxes. What is it that they're going to be looking to do before that matchup against Australia? <coughs> Yeah, that's what I said. You know, it, it it's uh, even though we lost today, there were a lot many positives. You know, uh, making England bat for 31 overs for 135 and getting their six wickets it is a very big positive for the Indian team. You know, yeah, definitely they will really look into the batting. And as I said previously, that uh, I don't know how, but I would really like to see Poonam Yadav playing into that 11. Yeah. I am not. Um, very sure how they will be doing or how it's going to be. But I'm really looking forward for that. And yeah, David, uh, you know, every batter in this uh, lineup is aware of their responsibilities and the way they have to, you know, pro um, shape up their innings, build up the partnerships. And it was, uh, to be honest, it was a very uh, one-off bad day at the crease because it's not that they haven't had uh, the partnerships. Last uh, match, uh, Harman and Smriti had the partnerships. Uh, before yeah. that, Mithali and uh, Smriti had and Mithali and Harman had. So, as I said before, that they need to be more consistent in with their partnerships. You know, those even though we, they are having those 30-40 runs partnership in the middle, they will be easing out. You know, the way Julian and Richa Kosh uh, had a partnership of around 30 runs. So, these also help 
building up the score you know and i would really like to see more of see if though uh, batters have to score runs but even the bowlers can contribute you know playing uh, like for today's match if these bowlers would have played for another 10 overs you know you would have added that maybe 20 30 runs more giving them only the chance to bowl more at you know getting 150 at least it would have been a bit difficult i won't say difficult uh, fighting total i would say yes and uh, just sort of uh, wrap up this uh, conversation and and sort of look ahead a bit india play australia and new zealand play england both these teams will play their first in fact this is the first time auckland is going to feature uh, a world cup uh, match and it's going to have these two teams playing that's also going to be another challenge sort of getting used to another sort of a venue another pitch and it's going to be different slightly different conditions for sure uh just just to sort of round this off dane one last thought about england going into that match against new zealand that's going to be a massive encounter just as well yeah it's going to be a massive encounter i think they've got a little bit, a little bit of a race um new zealand taking on south africa tomorrow so i think <laughs> the race will do them well because of that quick turn around against south africa the other day um yeah. and you know i don't know if they want that I, i don't know if they just want to keep going um you know especially in in these situations and maybe you want to keep that momentum just keep going um but that's going to be huge for them and and obviously depending on what happens tomorrow you know it, it might it might be a tournament changer for them you know south africa maybe rocks up and 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 beat new zealand that it can change the dynamics of the tournament again um so yeah i think they they obviously keep a clo- close eye on on the the game tomorrow and then um and obviously plan ahead but uh, auckland is a beautiful place to play cricket um we were there and um we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves so um yeah i think it's going to be a great contest once again and and especially to keep the fun in the feet in this tournament right and uh, we sort of led you into that one so you should uh, not definitely not miss that one it will promise to be another uh, interesting face off there that new zealand taking on south africa that's going to be tomorrow and of course our team will bring you that uh, right from the pre match analysis right up to the post so thank you for joining us thank you ladies uh dane vanikak and sonetha bhai for giving us company and taking us through all of that but uh, thanks for watching the outside view and watch the space for more